preparing is really important. Here you can see all the tools what you need for this long hair design. Hello! This elegant and very artistic updo comes easily with the hair net. Sectioning, we need to have only three ponytails on the vertical line. The last one from the front, I put it on the middle, so it covers all the sections. Three ponytails, and I'm going to use a technique named loops with a hair net. I have to start back combing under and keep the surface clean. Back combing comes under, don't throw the teeth of the comb through the section. Make it really nice and strong back combing. Little bit hairspray to the surface so it stays clean. Control you pack combing that there is no holes. Now I apply a hair net. I put the U-pins and cover it under the rubber band. I open the hair net and put all this section where is a pack combing inside. So I cover it. Then one third goes under the ponytails where we have an elastic band and I fix it there with the U-pins. So, two-thirds leaves free for our movement. I distribute it forward. And first I close it with the hairpin. Then I do middle strand, mid strand and the ends. With the U-pins because there is not so much power inside, so I can easily use a U-pins. So the name of the techniques is loops, but now I cover those with the hair net. I repeat the same thing. I put the thumbs above and I do really strong pack coming under the section as many times as needed. Don't make teeth of the comb through the section. Keep it nice and clean. Apply the hairspray and make the surface clean and control that there is no holes inside. Application hair net. I cover all the hair with that hair net all the way to the ends. Then one third goes under and I still have two third hair net to work with. Use my fingers to position and fix it with the hairpin. There is a lot of power so you need a really strong tool. Hairpins can do that. All this movement depends on your artistic feeling, but please control the form, texture and direction. First ponytails. Are nearly ready. One more section. The same procedures. Pack coming, hairspray, surface stays clean, cover it with the hairpins, one third under and two third for you. Distribution and direction, whatever you decide.
how many loops you can create, it depends on the density of the hair and the length of the hair. Don't leave any free ends outside from the hairnet. Use the U-pins to fix one third inside under the ponytail and two thirds to create the form. This updo is really, really artistic, so it gives you a million possibility to decide which form you want to see. If you use a shiny spray and hairspray, maybe with a flattering iron, the result is a little bit different, effect is different. Why not? One day you can use a crepin iron as well. There is a million of possibility. It's up to your creativity and your way to see your clients, your model. Which style, which effect is the best one for her? I repeat, second ponytail, second step. Same procedures. Keep it tight, nice and clean. Use your U pins to fix the hairnet. On the hairnet, we have a knot, so please use that one so it's easy to cover and it's more stronger to fix. Let's cover all the hair lengths all the way to the ends. One third under the ponytail. Under the rubber band. Let's start to fix first the base, then mid strand, and the last thing to think about are the ends. Position is really, really important. Follow the form, texture and direction. The nape have to be really small, really tight. Highest point is on the top of the head. Try to keep vertical line on your form. Hairspray, hair net with the U pins, cover it under the rubber band on the ponytail number two. Close one third inside, and you still have two thirds left for your imagination. Please start from the base so you can build up the form. Distribution upward. So we get the final highest point on the top. Last ponytails, I'm going to use only one all in ones. And here is going to be the ornamentation, so I don't need to cover rubber band. There is a place for the ornamentation under that ponytail, the lowest ponytail. Let's make the surface nice and clean. Hair spray, hair net. We cover one third and we play with the two third. This is really, really artistic design. 
elegant. There is uh, millions of possibilities to decide position, to change the form. Maybe one day you change the ponytails. Now I keep it on the vertical lines for Meli. One third. And two third. Let's start to fix it from the base. You just follow the design and decide and which way you want to distribute the hair. First with the hair pins. From the base. Then mid strand. And finally the ends. Use your creativity. And your elegant artistical updos are nearly ready. Let's control. From the side. Here is going to be ornamentation. Nice and clean. Beautiful Meli, thank you so much. Now it's missing only ornamentation. Here we can see a final effect with the earrings, makeup and ornaments. These artistic loops with the hairnet itself are just so beautiful. So one ornamentation is enough. Enjoy about it, start to exercise. Go for it!